Hello. I cleaned underneath the drinker. The drinker is always like the nastiest because it mixes with um, food. Probably a poo in there too, but the food does not, uh, it's not good if it gets wet. So I try to keep food away from there. It's over there. And then I just had to scrape it with this claw gardening tool and then put all the nasty bits in there. And um, I used soap and an old scrub brush and I pulled out on both sides because the water had to go on both sides, um, the wet, yucky stuff. And then I put uh, vinegar and water because I couldn't get Usually with soap and water I could get the smell off, but maybe I wasn't trying so hard enough, but I put vinegar and water just to neutralize and then I put uh, fresh uh, hay at the sides here, so they're trying to be good, but um, the balance is kind of off right now. I never would have believed it, like I read things on the internet about, you know, the males riding the females too much. and I didn't act quick enough, not realizing, um, when they made a big change to coming out, um, and another time, I forget what that was, but they rode a female to death, like, I've since realized you got to catch it early, you have to have Preparation H on hand, you got to watch their feet and make sure they're okay with their feet and that, so that's like with um, ointment, like, uh, the triple ointment or um, what's that other stuff called? Polysporin. So having a few things on hand and act, watching, observing and acting quickly. Because the males want to have supremacy and they are always watching the faces of the hens to see if the hens are panicking. And they calm them down by riding them or bonking them on the head or something. And um, some of them, some of the girls are just way too flirtatious. And Winnie there has always been a runner. Now look at her. They pulled all the feathers off the back of her and a lot on, she's smaller now and all the feathers on the back. So I just noticed this morning, she was fine yesterday, but I looked at her today and she wasn't, she had a splat behind her and so I, I uh, went in the house and I got preparation for, for her. So I think it's because of the three males, okay, they do pair off. So there's two, and there's two, and there's two, and there's two. And they're leaving poor little Winnie alone, thank God. So the other um, hens are kind of getting, keeping a corner. Just that corner, I guess. So poor little Winnie has um, been ridden too much. And it's not necessarily that there's not enough space or even the ratio, it's the competition that these, especially these three mandarins, one, two, three. So thank God they're pairing off and uh, the girl there is sitting quietly. I, I don't know if there's one in the hidey hut. So I'm tr I was putting hay on her and trying to get them to stop riding her. That's okay, Winnie, I won't come any closer. I'll just use the zoom. But yeah, I'm watching her very carefully and trying to get the males to behave. So I'm doing some training and um, I'm having some progress, so that's really good. Honker is the worst. Sorry, Honker. I want you to be the best because he carries on a lot. He's the one that I actually taught uh, to sit down which is really weird. If you know that about dogs, they're not so good at past, present, and future. So if you begin by giving them permission and saying to them, you know, sit when they're sitting, when they're just doing it anyways, they associate the word. So you say, if you're, the method you're using is their name and then the, the command. So then you end up so that you can say the word before they are even thinking to do it and make them do it. So it's kind of funny. Um, Anyways, so uh, they have to be trained. They they don't understand, but it's like kind of life and death in a way. Um, lots of males get put in the soup pot and given away or whatever. 
and I wish I could find a, a method of integrating them and it is possible because if I'm the one that's the top I have to give them permission to ride or to call so I'm starting off with calling uh, let's just see um, if I can actually do it I think I can it's only been a couple days and I'm already making progress so you know for their lives oh no there's a wasp in here shit I gotta get the wasp out so I gotta cut this video short wasps can actually gang up and kill a quail so that's not good and eat them because they're carnivores all right 